So this is where we get a bit abstract. A lot of the more contemporary dubstep flavors are bringing in some extra textures. And very often these are things called found sounds. So this could be something that you've recorded or someone else has recorded it in real life, wandering around with a, a portable recorder, varying qualities. It doesn't always matter about the quality. You don't have to have pristine 24-bit audio. It could be quite low fire. So all it is is just textures that can fit in the gaps of the beat. I've got a beat that I've got up and running using the regions in the arrange method. Have a listen. Just gonna point out I'm using a couple of effects here. And also I've got them running through to a bus where I've got a bit crusher and a compressor on. I'll make the project available for you to take a look at the settings. And we've got a whole bunch of samples you can download. I've got these in this folder here. So this is the dubstep found sounds. There's a real mixture. And uh, I'm going to have a listen to some of these and see if anything sort of jumps out in terms of bringing something through for me. Some of these are quite long. Some of them are short. You'll be able to tell by the actual file size over here. Now these crumple bag kind of textures have got some really lovely bits in. I'm not so much thinking it's an impact thing, although that could work. I'm looking for some kind of noisy, airy texture. I like the finger clicks. Yeah, the jangling keys I really like actually. I'm gonna bring those through. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them just yet. We'll have a look in a minute. Let's keep going. I like that. That's got a good vibe to it. Not so much feeling the cars. Some of these ambience ones could be good. Yeah, I like what I'm hearing there. Some nice textures from the water. Now that, the beginning of that was lovely, that tube door. Yeah, I like some of the textures of someone walking under the bridge. Hmm, it's a really subtle textures here I like at the moment. Okay, so that's a carbonated water bottle being opened. Yeah, some really nice bits in there. That's a really long sample as well. So look, let's take away the mixer. Let's have a look. And this can take a little bit of time. I'm trying to pick out the best bits of these. And um, somebody's got big dynamic range because I recorded it 24 bit. You can see there's quite a big difference between the loud and the quiet. In fact, this early section was incredibly quiet. So let me see if I could focus on something rhythmic to start off with. Maybe that tube door and the kettle switch. Let's move these out of the way. And the bridge stamping could be good, actually. This I'm going to place a little bit earlier, maybe somewhere around near the stair. But this is the one I was talking about where I can see that there's some kind of rhythm there, but I'm going to see if it works without trying to lock it into a grid. Let's just have a listen so far. <laughs> Now that was good, but I want to stop that. This I'm going to bring back. I really liked what happened with that. Okay, now that's a really interesting little rhythm. I'm going to chop that and then get rid of all this. I think that's working well. Let's go bring it down a little bit. Have a look at this. Okay, quite a lot of bottom end on there, I think. Yeah, I'm going to roll off some of that. like what's happening with that kettle switch as well that was adding a really nice rhythmic flavor so 
So that was pure fluke that that worked. But, you know, I've done this a few times where I've brought in found sounds and sometimes you do get really lucky. It's because of the kind of organic nature to them because they've got a lot of noise and texture behind them. You get away with it a bit more than you would do if they were individual short sounds. Let me try these jangling keys as a texture on top. Now, I'm feeling that the background noise that was coming from the under the bridge thing was a little bit too dominant. I was hearing that a little bit too much. And I'm feeling actually when I take that out, I prefer it, okay? Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to take this one out. Let's see how the water bottle sounds. I remember there was a little bit of dead space at the beginning, so I'm just going to bring this over here and see what happens. Okay, there's not that much happening in the beginning. That's the lid opening. Let me try and take that afterwards. Okay, let's take it past that. Yeah, I like that. I think that's working. There could be some variations later that would work, but I'm just going to stick with that for the moment. So really, you can see it's up to you. It's about dragging those sounds in that you think might complement the beat, placing them somewhere, maybe just at the beginning, you know, to start off with, maybe randomly. It's up to you. You know, it's well worth experimenting, particularly if you're after one of these more contemporary, slightly more left field textures. And, uh, you know, it's really going to bring uh, some sonic interest to the beats.